Hey folks, today I'm excited to share with everyone an amazing cutting tool that I discovered. So this tool originated from the Middle Archaic period in North America. That was roughly 5,000 years ago. The primitive cultures during that time, while they were still hunter-gatherers, they didn't travel as much as they did before during the Ice Age. So these groups of people were cut off from regular supplies of flint and chert and obsidian because they were no longer traveling the distances to be able to access these uh, resources. They had to improvise and create cutting tools from materials that were abundant. And they discovered quartz. Quartz is an incredibly abundant material. It's found uniformly distributed across the entire continent. Like flint, obsidian, and jasper, quartz can take on a very sharp edge. Unlike obsidian, flint, and jasper, quartz cannot be easily flint napped it does not break in a predictable way. So to actually flint nap a piece of quartz into an arrowhead would take an incredible amount of effort. Creating quartz tools is very simple. First, you find pieces of quartz. Then you get yourself a large hammer stone. Then you find a giant stone that can serve as an anvil. And all you have to do is take your hammer stone and swing it vertically down onto the piece of quartz. You want to do it in a controlled way so that the cords can break into pieces. You don't want to slam down that hammer stone so hard that it pulverizes the cords. With every strike of your hammer stone, pieces of cords flake off, and these flakes have edges that are razor sharp. Within a matter of a few minutes, you could create dozens of little cords flakes. Unlike flint tools, you don't shape these flakes into the tool that you want. Rather, you find the appropriate flake for the task that you want to do. A flake with a very acute and even cutting edge can be used as a knife. Such a knife works wonders when cutting paracord. This knife can cut softwood and hardwood extremely well. A flake with a jagged edge can be used as a saw. And what you can do is you saw around a piece of wood and then it would allow you to cleanly break that piece of wood. Some flakes end in a very natural point. You can use such a flake as a drill. And what you do is you take that flake and you drill through bark, through leather, through wood, and it makes a very clean little hole. A flake with a sharp but obtuse cutting angle can be used as a scraper. And you can use such a scraper on bark, you can use it on uh, fibrous materials, you can use it on animal skins. There's a variety of things that you can do with a scraper. Some flakes are naturally shaped to look almost like arrowheads. These flakes you want to save. Basically, these flakes can be used to make arrows and other projectile weapons without you ever having to learn how to flint nap. Even marginal flakes shouldn't be discarded. These flakes can be used to throw sparks off of high carbon steel or your fire steel, giving you a vital fire starting option. So as we can see, using quartz, an incredibly common and abundant material, primitive man can create a range of cutting tools, and these tools were essential for his survival. Now for a modern day hiker or an adventurer, this presents an enormously useful resource. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like more of these videos, please like or uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.